Hi and welcome to Military Diorama. This is part 4 of my diorama build for the Academy Tiger 1 in Russia. It's going to be tricky painting the barn's interior, so I started by priming it black. I found some rough areas on the joints of the beams, so I filled them with some Vallejo filler. After it dried, I sanded them back and repainted it with a brownish colour to act as a base coat and check them again. I decided to try to create a bark effect on some of the beams. I applied some Vallejo putty to the edges, allowing it to dry a little and then stippled with a paintbrush to create the bark effect. This will help hide the rough edges and break up the interior colour. Next came palette choice. I had been experimenting with watercolours for winter camouflage so I decided to use them on the barn along with some inks and oils. I only had a cheap set of watercolours so I decided to buy some Winsor & Newton. The colours I chose were Titanium White, Payne's Grey, Ivory Black, Cadmium Yellow Hue and Van Dyke Brown along with some Dala and Rowney Black and Burnt Umber inks. I'm still not looking forward to painting the side of the barn so I'm putting it off a little bit longer. While I am, I decide to paint the exterior logs. I use a dark brown, which is Van Dyke brown and white, mix up three different browns and paint alternating logs, different browns to give it some variation in color. I've kept the colours on the palette separate so I can add extra white to certain areas and strip in the colours to increase the variance in tone and depth of colour on different logs. With that done, I move on to the external wood panelling. I mix up some colours, three different whites, and I add some of the yellow, the brown, and the grey watercolours to it, and also a little bit of browning, just so I've got three different shades, or varying shades of white. It does look very white on the video, but once it dries off, it goes a lot greyer. I just want to achieve a, like a nice base coat of a nice, variants of greys. The only problem I had when I was trying to blend it in was because they're watercolours they don't go off so they will continually, continuously mix so it's probably not the best thing to use but I've tried it now. I don't think they, it was a waste of time. It's a technique that I know doesn't work now. It does work to a certain extent but I will be covering it with some lacquer I think after this and then using either watercolours again or possibly acrylics. I am going to do some ink work on it as well. But I just basically go over filling in each of the planks in a different colour, mixing the colours together to get different tones.
then once I've completed that I then start blending in more colors to give it even more variance and give it like a grainy effect you can see here it's less white now it's more of a gray golden color and it does dry to a better color than that at the end it does look a little bit patchworky now but there's still quite a lot of work to do to it with oils and everything else and also I'm going to be putting some slime some green like moss and stuff on it and things like that so it's still quite a long way to go with it I'm quite happy with the way it's turned out really to be quite honest I just keep dotting the blues and yellows onto it to give it some variance in the tone and just to try and create a a sort of wood grainy effect in knots and stuff it's not really working to be honest but all the colors are becoming unified so it's, it's it wasn't a waste it's just trying to learn a new technique it takes quite a long time and I'm glad I did it it's just I don't know if I'll be doing it again I think the colours look quite washed out because of the, the light I'm using to film it with. Um, I'll change that so you can get a better look next time. But there are some stills here and they've got a much better colour to them in the still photos. It's just got a lot less light on it so it's a, a lot more realistic looking I think. I've also started work on the interior. I didn't film it because it's quite hard to paint and film because it's quite tight gaps to get into. but. I've also done the beams. I'll be going over that again, but I'll be doing that next week. Um, I've got time to think about the interior now. What I'm going to do for that? Ways to make it easy to paint. There's going to be an MG34 in the doorway upstairs with some sandbags around the opening and the panelling around it as well. Um, there's going to be some makeshift hammocks or bedding for the troops to sleep on along with straw and hay um, I'm also going to be adding some sort of tarpaulings to the inside of it where the troops have tried to windproof it for the winter to keep themselves warm and there'll just be some scratch built tools like farmyard tools and that sort of thing some chains for the animals to be kept on uh, and also I've got to do the the actual feeding troughs for the, the lower area of the barn um, so I'm quite looking forward to doing that here are a couple of little sketches that I've done to show what the interior is going to look like hopefully but that's all I've got time for this week hopefully next week I'll get the interior painted maybe the roof on and a little bit of the flooring done and some detail work thanks for watching see you again next week